to Mr. Liam Keane. Liam, Bournemouth nil, Wolves nil. Oh dear, where'd you start with that? Uh, what do you make of the game? Toothless. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the best way to describe it. Um, it's the same story really. Wolves are looking after the ball quite well, fairly comfortable defensively for, for the most part. Um, didn't really be, weren't really troubled that much by Bournemouth, um, who didn't really have much of a threat. And unfortunately, Wolves at the opposite end were exactly the same. Um, first half, they created next to nothing, if I'm honest. Second half, Raul has a massive, massive one-on-one -on -one chance. Pedence has a header cleared off the line. But other than that, not much else to speak of. They can't find goals. They can't find a way to break this team down, or any team down. Um, and unfortunately, it's just not good enough for a goal. Um, the, the Wolves fans are understandably frustrated, and pressure mounts on, on Bruno to, to get it right. Look, um, we, we knew after that 9-0 they were going to come, the second manager, yeah. they were just going to come, they were happy for a point, they were happy with the 0-0 yeah. tonight, absolutely. But at the same time, with these players that have come into this side, and look, they haven't just come into the side, they've had chances to work, they've had plenty of time now, Nunes is here, Guedes is here, yeah. you know, Collins is here, there's a new look, there's a new way that they want to play, and look, it's the same old story, by the last 20 minutes, they were insipid, they were really poor, and look, the, the most important thing, apart, isn't, isn't the players, isn't the managers, the fans, and the fans have made their, you could hear them grumbling, that's the first time tonight we really have them vocally inside a game maybe not outside but inside a game talking about Bruno talking about this team and they're frustrated they're angry and you can understand it because the, the, the time's gone now they've got to start scoring goals they've scored two goals in five Premier League games two goals that is just not good enough against a Bournemouth side who let's be honest are probably going to go down this season the, the best word I can describe for the way me, I think me and you felt watching that, uh, and it would be the same for any Wolves fan in this stadium and at home, uh, it was excruciating at times. It really wasn't painful to watch because every single time a Wolves, a, a talented, quick, pacey, skillful Wolves winger, and I'm talking about Pedro Neto, I'm talking about Guedes at times today, I'm talking about Adama Troy when he came on, the amount of times they would get the ball out wide, they had have a one-on-one -on -one situation, even a two-on-one, -on -one, but they're more than, talent, more than, more than good enough to, to make something happen. And they turn inside and they do a backwards pass. Oh, the, it's just... the, the Wolves fans in, in the ground tonight were absolutely furious watching, and I, I don't know how to call individuals out, but Neto several times, I don't know how he stayed on for 90 minutes to be honest, several times turning backwards, backwards passes. Yes, he was on his opposite side on the right for the most, time, m most of the time during the game, but this is a player who is apparently being linked with, with Arsenal and is worth 56 or 70 million pounds, and he hasn't shown it so far. It, there's, and there's, he's not the only one. Raul Jimenez was poor again tonight. I didn't think Nunes did, did, a, did a fat lot to be honest with you. There's too many any high profile quality individuals here no who are way more than what they're showing, yeah. way, way better than what they're showing. And they're not committing, they're not taking players on, they're not making something happen. There's no spark, there's no intent. It, it's not good enough. They're not standing up and being counted. Yeah. They're hiding, they're hiding on yeah. that pitch. And look, you look at those Bournemouth 11 players, how many of those 11 players in the starting lineup get into that Wolves side tonight? I tell you who, zero. 100% yeah. yeah. zero. But I tell you what, they could have nicked that tonight because they've got heart and they've got, they've got a little bit about them. And sometimes Times, Wolves are a soft touch. I thought they were a soft touch again tonight. Soft They've got to go and win. Yeah. Half, half last 20 minutes, they did nothing. And look, you, you mentioned him there. I hate to say it, but Raul Jimenez scores, scores two or three tonight if, if, if he's on. Raul Jimenez, just look, he looks like a shadow of Raul Jimenez. You know, you've signed Shasha today. It looks like he'd probably be a bit involved on Saturday. I'll be honest, with the confidence at the moment, if you're not going to start Jimenez, he's probably best just throwing him on the pitch and starting him on Saturday. Because that is someone he's taking out of that limelight at this moment in time it's not working for him and then he's someone to lead that but it's not just him like you say it's the players in behind as well and, and he's always going to get and I think rightly so Raul he's always going to get some leeway because of the, the horrific injury he went through and I, and I want to give him that leeway as well because I think he deserves it uh, but again he was anonymous tonight and there was a, a moment in the first half that summed it up that I tweeted out that a low cross comes in I think it might have been Nunes but I might have got that wrong a low cross comes in it's there to be attacked get ahead of the defender and that's, that's what's happened he lurks at back post hides doesn't get on the ball, doesn't try to even make the, the run towards where the, the ball has come in, Bruno goes bonkers on the sidelines. I think from what people have been replying to me that Raul blamed the cross, it was not the cross, it's the movement. Uh, he was not there in the right place at the right time. Uh, sometimes a little bit of luck you need and again, summed up in the second half, he goes one on one, goes to dink it over the, the, uh, the goalkeeper. Two years ago he scores that and he puts it a good yard wide the post. How long is long enough? For this team to, to start to start playing playing football, they're not they're not helped by the fixtures. They've got obviously Saints on um, on Saturday at home, and then they've got Liverpool away and City away. Uh, City uh, at home, sorry. So 
you need a result on Saturday. You need a result on Saturday. Simple as that. And um, if they go one nil down on Saturday, yeah, and I hope they don't, but if they do go one nil down on Saturday, I promise you that Molyneux yeah, will, will, will not be a nice place. That will be toxic in there, and Bruno will know that. He'll know. Yeah. He'll know the ramifications after this game tonight. And that performance that they haven't won. Yeah. That they've got to go there and get a result on Saturday. Because like I say, with those two yeah. games after that, look. I like Bruno. I think I think he's done some really good things here. But at the same time, how long is long enough before these quality players, this brilliant squad, who are going to be second bottom going into into the weekend or third bottom going into this weekend, start performing and winning games? And he should be rightly questioned uh, after tonight, 100. percent And I, I agree with you. I think he's done some good things. He's equally being let down by some individuals Absolutely. as well, which I think is a very important point I agree. to make because the players that are on show there today, yeah, they're not are helping him. Far better than what they're showing. They are far better than that. Um, the, the two best players on the pitch for me, from a Wolves point of view, were Kilman and, and Collins. Head and shoulders. Easily. Uh, I think that's, that's a no-brainer. Um, that's a damning indictment for this side when, you have, when you've got the midfielders and forwards they've got that are not, that are not putting it in. Um, there's too many poor showings. I think full-back or also poor again today, working, you know, giving the ball away yeah. too often. Uh, I can we, agree, we, agree we, with the whole squad. We, we, I mean, we're go, you've got to go into Bruno, so I'm, I'm going I'm to go in a minute. But uh, I was surprised that no, we didn't start from the start today. I yeah, thought we were going to take it to them. Yeah. I'm surprised they went three in midfield. I thought they go two in midfield and play Pedent as well with that three ahead of ahead of Raul. He hasn't gone, he's gone a little bit safer and just hasn't worked. It's not working. That formation and like you said to me earlier on in this game, how long before you that tried and tested of his people, of his guys who are letting him down, and you've got to make changes. Yeah. Do we see that on Saturday? You, you have you have to make changes. There's, there's only so long the same individuals can let you down. Um, I thought Pedent looked right when he came on. Yeah. Uh, obviously he almost scored and I thought that formation, albeit against a, a, a poor ball side to be fair, I thought that formation would suit them a lot better tonight. It, it'll be, again, last 20 minutes, it's a different game at that point, but I thought it'd suit them better. I would like to see that at home against Southampton. Play for Dent. I thought Pedenta played well when he came on. Um, and unfortunately, the, the players already mentioned, and Troy when he came on, didn't do anywhere near enough. So if, if the rest of the forwards aren't doing it, you need, you need someone who is at least shown a little bit in the last, couple, the last game or two, and I thought Pedenta is that man's hard playing for me. Bournemouth nil, Wolves nil, for the post-match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressthestar.com.